We begin this hour with our top trade reactions. Uh, lots of Twitter reaction to the Cavs, Celtics trade, Kyrie Irving, Isaiah Thomas, D Wade. That's how I felt. I emoji. What? Yeah, just like, oh, what? Whoa. Hey. And after that one, he tweeted, the NBA is fantastic. Yep. And it is. Uh, other players expressing their surprise and shock. Mario Chalmers, Dwight Howard, CJ McCollum, Eric Bledsoe tweeting out lots of wows and wows. Former Celtics teammate Evan What did Turner. you just say? I, I, think, I think that was whoa. It was whoa. It looked like a woo ah to me. Woo ah. You, you sound like movie. Buster Rhyme, <laughs> you know? Woo ah. Evan Turner. She hey, got you in check. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Look, Ooh, I'm ah. trying to read the tweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> Woo ah. What? <laughs> what? I'm, I'm done. Just give up. You read the tweets now. This, this, is, this one. This was well done. Oh, this is LeBron. Yes. Right, I'll read this one. All right, let me, let me find it. Here it goes. I just read it off the screen. That's the only way to be a kid. Talking to the kid who didn't burn the jersey. So thank you so much. None but, none but love for our three years together. Uh, apparently no, bla no bad blood between Kyrie and LeBron. At least none that they're going to talk about. And the headline in uh, the Cleveland Plain dealer this morning, changing of the guard. Kyrie getting his wish as the Cavs sent him out of town to Boston for Thomas Crowder plus the Nets' unprotected first-round pick. Our front office insider, Bobby Martin, joining us now. Bobby, let, you need to straighten out this crew this morning. Uh, and let's get to the numbers here. Uh, considering that, you know, uh, Kyrie's going to get paid. He's going to get the max deal down the road. But he gave up some money here to make this deal happen. What did he do? Kevin, how does $37 million sound to you, how much Kyrie Irving gave up in this trade? And I, and I think when you look at it, it's, it's in two part. Uh, he gave up a $5.8 million trade kicker. Uh, that he would have been paid upon uh, the completion of this trade. And also remember that Irving was would have been designated player veteran ex extension eligible next summer if he had earned all NBA uh, in, in Cleveland and if he had stayed there. So you're looking at a contract five years, $219 million for staying in Cleveland versus five years, $189 million to, uh, to re-sign with the Celtics. Still pretty good money there, though. Listen, there's a bunch of teams in the East that are sitting at six and seven and eight and have kind of been there for the last few years going, this is a Celtics team that was the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. And yes, you can say the Cavs conceded it at the end, but the number one team in the Eastern Conference and Danny Ainge keeps overhauling this roster. I mean, what do you make from a front office perspective of him making all of these changes over the last couple of months? Well, and it's only going to get better here. Remember, they still have they still have that Laker pick uh, potentially that could be in the lottery next uh, next year. To, uh, it's in. If it's in that two to five range, they also have a Memphis first round pick protected in 2019. They still have a Clipper pick in 2019. Uh, although cap space is now now dried up, you've got three players in, uh, uh, in uh, Kyrie Irving, Al Horford, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, all players that are in the, in the prime of their career. Hey, Bobby, let's move to the Cavs for a second. Where, where does this trade leave them for the future with or without LeBron? Well, Jay, I think what it does is that it buys them insurance in case LeBron James leaves next summer. And uh, with this Brooklyn pick, potentially could be a top three, top four pick. Uh, it can set the wheels in motion if, if James does leave next year. Uh, on the other side of it, if, if uh, he does stay, you can bring back Isaiah Thomas. You inherit his bird rights. Uh, you can, um, you know, you get your point guard of, of the future. I'll bit a little bit of a an older point guard, about four years older, where, where Irving is. So I think you have di different options here. I, I don't know if you can say the, the Nets pick is insurance for LeBron James leaving. I don't think that that's the scenario Cleveland hopes. But, hey, th this Cleveland team is in a better position long term than they were a day ago. Bobby, you were here uh, about a month ago when, when Kobe Altman was announced as the GM, and you, you, gave, you shared a story that you knew about him and, and what he went through, and you have a relationship with him. How much pressure was he feeling to get this trade right and, and to g actually get something back long-term future-wise with that unprotected pick from the Nets? Well, I know Kobe is, is well relieved right now, and I, and I texted back and forth last night, and, and his two lines that he said was that his brain was fried from this trade, <laughs> and uh, I think it's a big relief. I think it's a relief just going into, tra going into training camp that you've got some closure here. We were, we were about a month away from things we're about to start, and, and, and it protects them both, both from, uh, you know, hey, they still have the best team in the East with LeBron James, with Isaiah Thomas, if he's healthy, with Crowder now, and, and you bring back the, this group, and, and, I, and I think it, it certainly protects Kobe. Kobe next year if James does leave because 
2019, two years from now, they could have $45, $70 million in, in cap space to have a complete overhaul. These teams meet opening night October 17th in Cleveland. Should be fun. Bobby Marks, thank you much. We're going to all be going, woo you. Woo ah, that's what we're all going to be saying. Y'all got jokes. Kyrie Irving and Isaiah Thomas have come full circle. <laughs> Kill their mics, please. Back in 2011, <laughs> they book into the NBA draft. Irving was the first pick. Thomas was the last. Despite the difference, they both posted gaudy numbers last year, averaging over 25 points a game, nearly six assists a game. Um, just don't expect the whole lot on defense. Thomas ranking dead last in defensive plus minus, and Kyrie wasn't too far behind. It adds up to a very unique trade. The first in NBA history featuring a swap of players coming off seasons where they averaged 25 points per game.